This is the second program on the theme of identity. Who am I in Christ? In the alphabet from A to Z, we have an A today, which stands for acceptance, because everyone has a need for acceptance. When you were as little as a pinhead, only three weeks after conception, your heartbeat could already be traced. For nine months, you safely grew in a special bag inside your mummy's tummy, called the womb. And on a very special day, which is now called your birthday, you were born. And, ta-da, there you were. Everyone had been excited about your birth, and after birth, your mum and dad chose to call you by a specific name. They cuddled you and kissed you. They cared for you and told you how much they love you. You most probably went to a house where there is safety, enough food and soft clothing. Or this is the way it should be and everybody would like it to be. To accept someone is to really care for him and show love. A love that will make one feel safe. Everyone is born with a deep desire to be loved and accepted, to be touched and to hear words of appreciation. The way parents raise their children have a great influence on how kids perceive themselves and whether they feel loved and accepted. To be accepted is like an anchor in my life that makes me feel safe in spite of stormy circumstances. Unfortunately, it is also true that many people do not experience this love and acceptance at birth or thereafter. Many people do not receive the necessary care and nurture during their early years and that creates the breeding ground for feeling rejected and abandoned. Someone who does not feel loved might have a poor self-image or sense of worth. It's almost like the story of the rag doll that ended up on the rubbish heap and thrown away as worthless. An orphan lamb is a little lamb that could not be raised by its own mother for some reason. This little lamb can become very irritating and naughty, much more than those who have been raised and nursed by their own ewe mothers, simply because he seeks attention all the time. He might even do ridiculous things and end up in trouble because he feels insecure and rejected. In the same way, children who are raised without a feeling of being loved can more easily be influenced. They look for love and acceptance in all the wrong places and might end up in disastrous situations because they feel abandoned and orphaned, desperately in need of love. I read in the Bible in Luke 15 about a young man who left home because he was rebellious and did not appreciate the love of his family. After a while he lost everything and ended up looking after pigs. He was desperate to return to his family, but was not sure whether his father would receive him back again. Eventually he did return to his father, which awaited him with open arms and with love. I also read about another father, one who has an even greater heart, and his name is Father God. His name is love. He truly loves and accepts even those who feel abandoned. In Jeremiah 31 verse 3, he confirms, I have loved you with an everlasting love, and therefore with loving kindness have I drawn you to me. If I believe in and accept God's love for me, it is like a seed that is planted in my heart that will germinate and grow into a strong plant that will eventually bear fruit again. And then God's love in me becomes so real and so big 
that I can start to love others as well, those who do not feel loved and accepted. There are many ways to express that love of God to others, giving hugs, being friendly, to care, to help the needy. Maybe these acts of love and acceptance will make others feel worthy again. Because you love, shared a message that says, you are special, you are loved. Can you imagine what your school, your house, or even your city will be like if everyone has that love and true acceptance for one another? The world has another message. It says you are worthless and you should feel alone and rejected for the rest of your life. This lie is the number one weapon of the enemy to destroy your true identity. But here is the truth. God says, you are welcome. He says, I want you. I will always love you. You are no longer an orphan, but you are accepted in the beloved. If you dare to accept and believe this, you will no longer feel insecure but have a deep sense of being loved, which will make you feel strong and brave. The heart had always been the symbol of love, although the shape and size might have changed. And as the blood rushes through my veins to my whole body, God sends this one message with every heartbeat. I love you. I love you. L-O-V-E. L-O-V-E, until I believe it and can share it with others too. May your heart keep on beating this message. May you believe it every year with your birthday that God had already spoken these words over you long before you were born. I have called you by your name and you are mine.